today they're working on the pipe. You see the black tank there. That's where the poop will come in. The poop will settle there and the wa excess water will come out here and go into the ground. Uh, we're making sure that it doesn't go into the drain because we want to use this water source as, uh, you know, the rain collection. So we will have a filter that'll um, clear out this water so we can use it in the building for uh, showering and all. There's a nice waterfall, like water source coming from the mountains, which is clear water. This looks mucky right now because there's sand, a lot of sand underneath, but actually it's very clear. Once the sand settles in, once the rainy season sort of settles down, we'll see this. It's usually very beautiful. But yeah, so they're working on the drains today. And um, we are going to do a drain, a new uh, pump over there into a well, which will take out the excess water. Uh, this is quite high. Usually it's much lower, but... Uh, Yesterday it was a little drizzly, today it's nice and sunny, so usually three, four days the water level goes down. But we want to make sure it doesn't come up this high so we can start building over there. We can start planning on the next few structures over there. Over here we're planning on putting the water tanks. We're still going to decide that. And uh, this space will be for the pool. Eventually we'll be putting the pool up here so you can have this beautiful view. You know, while you're at the pool and the sun is right above head, so it goes from east to west. So it'll be above uh, in the afternoon, sunbathing, chilling, and then barbecuing. We'll have a barbecue pit, a nice shala here, so it can uh, hold the water tank for the pool, not, uh, the water pump for the pool. And then we've started planting the banana trees also. So planting is happening. Some of our coconut trees that were in the water have submerged. So once the water level goes down, we're going to figure out how to do that again. And those were the short coconuts. Uh, so a lot of planting going along the border, up there. Uh, we need to figure out how to fence this up. And um, yeah, we have uh, applied for the Chenno title. This is a Noso Samko, which uh, doesn't have GPS. It has measurements, but with the Chano title, it's GPS, so it's fixed and can be disputed later. It takes usually about three months because once they come and measure, they go and put it into the land department and they contact the neighbors and say, hey, this is the measurement. Are you okay with it? And if they are okay with it, it goes through. If they have a dispute, then we have to see what the dispute is, whether they think it's their land. And then we go on from there. But Nosa Sam Ko is already a measurement, but it's just not GPS. So this should take about three months, and then we'll have this five rai one ngan. And then we'll think about how to split it up uh, and do the rest of the buildings because eventually we're going to have one here, one there one up there on the mountains so yeah this soil because it's been dug out is a lot of clay not actual soil so it's taking a while for our bamboo our trees that we planted are not doing so well but uh you never know nature has its way of moving on living so we shall see what happens with that. And uh, yeah, so this water source is coming in. Whatever mountain water is coming, is coming and being drained through this drain that we built. And going into the lake. And uh, yeah, that's the update for today.